What's up everybody, I am back with another $20 movie challenge video and for those who don't know, in this series I take 20 bucks and then I go out and see how movies I can get for 20 bucks. Usually things, I try to keep it in things I'm interested in checking out or just having in my collection. I just don't try to buy movies all willy nilly. Alright, so I'm going to go into this now. Um, these first 10 films I'm going to show you, I all got at the same place and this is uh, Avenue Palm Brokers. And I'll tell you how the system works. They're used DVDs are usually two bucks a piece which I hate to think how much they're potting them off for because they're selling them at, at two bucks a piece they're probably only give them like a quarter of fifty cents a movie so but if you get ten of them you get them for ten dollars without t without plus tax no tax at all just ten bucks you buy ten movies you pay ten bucks buy one movie pay two bucks the problem I always have with them is I'll go there and I'll once I found if I find one film I'm cool but once I found three, I'm screwed. Because I can either pay six dollars for three movies, or I could actually get another seven movies and pay, you know, four dollars more. That always happens when I go there, so I try not to do that because I'll end up being in there for a bit trying to go through and finding another seven films once I get to three. Alright, so I got ten films here, and I'll go through these real quick. Alright, first up, we got Zero Dark Thirty. Um, I really enjoyed this film and I wanted to revisit it. It's been a while since I saw it, so I figured for a buck it's worth checking out again. Alright, uh, next up I got this one for the kids. It's Zoom with Tim Allen. This is the movie where he used to be a superhero, but he kind of lost his powers. But he has uh, been brought in to train a new group of young superheroes. This one plays like a Disney movie, but it's not a Disney film. This one was released by Sony. It was a couple years ago. Alright, this was based on a novel. I didn't know that. All right, whatever. All right, next up we have um, a TV miniseries, Klondike. I think this aired on the uh, History Channel a little while ago. Um, I think it's about like the Gold Rush or something like that. Like I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. I think Tim Roth is in this. That looks interesting. Hopefully this is halfway decent. It's probably six hours. I don't know if you know. I'll have the time to do it. Maybe watch a couple episodes a day or something. All right. Okay, next up, we have a comedy, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Back when I was a kid, I really liked Cheech and Chong. He, my buddy and I used to listen to the records and stuff like that. And this was their first movie. This is my favorite out of all their movies. So I'm looking forward to checking this one again. Hopefully I actually enjoy it. I don't know. Taste and humor change as you get older, so... You know, I don't know how I feel about pot humor today. Alright, now we have our first horror film of the update. Uh, Wrong Turn 3. I picked this one up because I wanted to uh, complete my Wrong Turn collection. I still need one more film to get, and that's Wrong Turn 5. Heard this one isn't very good, but for a buck, I figured it's worth picking up. Alright, now we have a gangster film. Uh, Mezarin, Public Enemy Number 1. And this is part two in a two-film series. I have the first one. I can't remember the name of that one. So, but I didn't want to watch it until I got this one. And this one, I used to see the video stores all the time, and they were selling it for like, uh, I think it was like around $7 or something, and it was going to cost like $14 for the two. Ended up getting both movies for two a dollar a piece. All right. Okay, next up, the gangster film, The Drop, with Tom Hardy and James Gandolfini. Heard good things about this one, so I'm gonna check this one out at some point, and it's cool to get it for a buck, even though it's a DVD. Okay, next up, we got a horror film with Gunnar Hansen, The Deepening. I think this one is also based on a true story. It's about a guy that kind of loses his shit after 9/11 and becomes a serial killer. Um, I hope this one's decent, but I don't know. This one is brand new. Yeah, uh, the shrink wrap has been taken off, but the sticker, security sticker, still on it. All right. Next, we have Horns. Really enjoyed this one, Daniel Radcliffe. Um, if you haven't seen this one, I'm surprised I haven't watched this one a lot sooner. Um, Cause I've been interested in checking it out for the longest time, but I've never bothered to bite down and pick it up. Uh, it's about a guy whose girlfriend gets murdered. He gets framed for the murder, and he renounces God. And because of this, he gets these devil horns come out of his head. But as a side effect. People tell the tell him his deepest darkest secrets, their deepest darkest secrets. He decides to use that power to solve his, mur uh, his girlfriend's murder. So I thought it was decent enough. The ending kind of faltered a bit, but the rest of it was pretty cool. All right, and last up for the the ten movies I got for a buck a piece is Tape Heads, and this is a uh, old Anchor Bay release. And I love finding old Anchor Bay things. That's the main reason why I love going out and uh, doing the movie hunting stuff is to find Anchor Bay stuff. And this is a movie I remember watching back in the '80s on VHS. And um, it's got John Cusack and Tim Robbins. They play two dudes that want to become um, 
music video producers and the whole movie is I'm trying to to do that and um, it's really cool and when this film was originally released it was released in two versions one that came with a CD soundtrack and one that didn't this one actually had the CD soundtrack but whoever pawned it off kept the CD soundtrack and uh, pawned off the movie at first I was worried that this was a CD soundtrack and the movie was gone because at least I wanted the movie you know it'd be great to have them both but out of the two I'll settle for the movie all right, so it's ten dollars for those. All right, now this is. I got three items here that rounds off my twenty bucks. All right, so first out, <clears throat> we have Tank Girl uh, with Lori Petty. I used to have this movie on DVD. I mean on VHS, and I wanted to get the DVD edition. Then I saw that uh, Shelf Factory had released a Blu-ray, but then I did some research on the movie and found out that this film was meddled with by the producers, and a lot of the film was reshot and stuff like that. And the ending was uh, wasn't completed properly and all that. So I looked at the special features, hoping last would be on there, and it wasn't. So I decided, instead of spending like 20 bucks for the Blu-ray, I'll spend $3 for the um, DVD. Even though this one is bare bones, I don't really care that much. I didn't like the film enough to want to spend a lot of money on it. Alright, and to end this uh, update, I got a couple of Canon film releases. Okay, we got uh, Chuck Norris in Invasion USA. And this was my favorite of the Chuck Norris movies that he produced back in the 80s. Even though my buddy Trey sent me a link a little while ago uh, to this podcast where they were talking about this movie and um, Death Wish 3. And now I think back to this movie, it really was quite ridiculous. Basically, these terrorists, they come to Miami and they're gonna, their plan is to devastate and destroy in Miami. But every time they go to do something, Chuck Norris is there. They try to um, bomb a school bus. Chuck Norris is there. They attack them all. Chuck Norris is also there. Look, whatever they want to do, Chuck Norris just shows up and kicks their ass. And it's kind of funny. It kind of reminds me of a Simpsons spoof. So I'm looking forward to checking this one again. This one's actually on uh, Blu-ray too, but I don't want to spend Blu-ray type money for this movie. So it's, you know, cheesy. And to finish out this update, we got a five-disc collection, all Chuck Norris movies. And this one is titled Chuck Norris uh, Her American Hero Collection. It really should read Chuck Norris The... American Hero Collection, but for some reason they just went with that. This one's got Delta Force, Delta Force 2, Michigan Action, Michigan Action 2, the beginning, and Braddock, Michigan Action 3. Now, the first Michigan Action movie was interesting because that one came out before uh, Rambo 2, and that, like, it was like one of the first of the let's go back to Vietnam and get our guys type of movies that were popular back in the 80s for a little bit. Um, the only thing about this release that I don't like is A, most of the films are full frame, and B, some of these films are on a flipper disc. But uh, the thing about this movie and Invasion USA, uh, these six films are all canon films. And nobody, like especially with the documentary that came out a couple years ago, nobody has put a, lo a line of canon films. Even Scream Factory has released uh, a fair bit of those movies on Blu-ray, and they haven't put like a banner, like canon film somewhere. You'd think they would market it as much, they'd probably sell better. You know, like, I think there's even a Blu-ray coming out of, um, He-Man with Delph Rundgren. That was another cam in, I came, came in talk, canon film. But no one's done it. I don't know why I haven't done it. So, let me recap. The first ten movies I show you were ten dollars a piece. Alright, so that's ten dollars there. This is thirteen. Three dollars for a Tank Girl. Sixteen. Uh, Chuck Norris, Invasion USA. Now, this one here, this five movie set, cost me two dollars and fifty cents, plus tax. So, we'll just say three dollars there so that's like 13 16 18 no 19 19 sorry my math is all jacked all right guys uh, thanks for watching i don't know if i'm gonna do one of these again in, in a while because uh i'm at a point of my collecting where i'm in a weird space you know i don't have as much room to uh to do uh a proper properly store my collection and that's gonna be another video i'm gonna do at some point uh sometime later on this summer Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all next time.